Jets do take Geno Smith. Is the first, the second quarterback off the board, and he is going to New York. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. So there you have it, everyone. Geno Smith is going up. Look, it's a great pick. I love Geno Smith. I think he can be a franchise quarterback if developed correctly. They better get him something to work with. They've gone defense with two picks. Now they've taken a quarterback. If you're the Jets, you need to get weapons for him if you don't want this to happen. You got to, I, I, I wonder, I wonder if you can sit him for a year. You know, if you can say, hey, we're going to sit Geno Smith down and, and give him a year to develop, even if it means we're complete crap for another season. Uh, and, and it, it, look, I think they can turn him into something with a good coaching staff with, by firing Rex Ryan. Honestly, if I, I mean, I hate to say it, but Rex Ryan really, really got to go, you know, um, yeah, and, and K.R. Black, you're right. I mean, Rex Ryan's probably going to start him, right? That's the only way you're going to save your job if you see a little bit of flash in him and you do pretty well. They really should have fired Rex Ryan last year. But is, are these weapons going to get it done? Is Jeff Cumberland a tight end? Is Stephen Hill, Antonio Holmes, and Jeremy Curley going to get it done? Is Bilal Powell and Mike Goodson going to get it done for the Jets? Uh, uh, Geno Smith, if you have to toss him in there with those weapons, it's not going to work out. Even if they get a guy in the third round, even if they trade for Chris Ivory, there's still not going to be enough weapons to really say, hey, we, we should toss a uh, player that we took at 39th overall, which is a premium draft pick, a premium draft pick, and have him ready to go. Now, I like Geno Smith. I think he's gotten bashed very unfairly for his play. He is, his scouting report reminds me a lot of Aaron Rodgers, where people criticize, you know, in games when he got down, he couldn't get them back. Um, but he had a great, a great completion percentage when he threw those short passes, the screen bubbles, those type of things. That definitely helped that. But you see some of the downfield throws that he makes, and when he makes them, they're great. And the red zone, he's one of the best red zone quarterbacks I've evaluated. I think that's his big strength, his ball placement in the red zone. He can put that thing on the money where only his receiver can get it. Those are some flashes that I see from Geno Smith. Then you toss in the athleticism and some different things that you can do with Geno Smith. I think that makes him such a great threat at the quarterback position in today's NFL. He he can be a franchise quarterback. He could be the Jets quarterback. Now, another question becomes, what about the lights in New York City? Um, you know, Eli Manning could handle it. He had a good support structure. Does Geno Smith have that? Is he he's someone that's going to fold down? We saw the Twitter comments this week. We saw maybe him not do that interview yesterday at the end of the of, of the day when he didn't get picked. Um, is that something that could impact him? Could there be too much media pressure? Does that hurt Mark Sanchez? Has that hurt other New York quarterbacks? So I I really love the selection. Um, I, I, I still contend that he could have been the number one overall pick, no, even though he went at 39. And I, I'll tell you, I'm not the best quarterback evaluator. It's something I'm still learning. So maybe this will be another egg on my face in that. But I still feel like, uh, I still feel like it's, it's Geno Smith is an excellent pick for the New York Jets. So I'll be interested to see the chat because I haven't really looked. Uh, instead, but Bailey later, you know, they got to add some, they better add some weapons here today.